Rappers Moose here. So this video is going to be on um, that last, or one of the scrap pickups that I did a video on in October. There was uh, some things in there that I wanted to sell on eBay. So this video is going to be showing you folks how I do that. Uh, but before I get started in that, <clears throat> I just want to bring attention to uh, a GoFundMe that I started for our friend uh, Gill Skills. Um, and I just want to send a thank you out to, um, I'm not sure if... He wants me to use his his uh, real name, but Jr. Uh, Jr. A cat or Junior a cat. Um, he just sent you know a letter with twenty bucks in it to go towards uh, helping Bob Gill. So I just want to send say you know say thank you very much for that. Um, I promised everyone who who donates a shout out, and you know I know that the. Um, electronic stuff is not your thing this works just fine um, and I've already let uh, Bob Gill know he was he said he was gonna reach out to you uh, thank you personally so again thank you very much for helping out uh, we're all we're all in this together so let's try and keep each other going support each other all right so the first thing that uh, I want to mention with this video going back to the subject of, of eBay um, is when I start this video, I'm going to assume that you already have an eBay account and a PayPal account um, and are able to buy and sell already. Um, eBay likes to change their policies and rules. I know for a while, if you opened a new account, you couldn't sell anything until you had a feedback score of 10. Um, I'm not sure if that's still the case, but regardless, uh, that's something that, that you can do on your own once you take some of the stuff that I'm going to show you here. Uh, so. Without further ado, let's take a look at what I've got to sell. Alright, so first off, I've got this box of antique doorknobs. Uh, they're the old brass things with all of the uh, the hardware, the keys, you know, everything, absolutely everything's included in here. Um, it looks like it's part of a newer one, but I've got all the, the face plates and everything. Um, I saw a similar auction um, on eBay sell fewer than these for almost $400. So I'm going to post them up um, and I'll show you how to research and figure out you know, the value of things. The next thing I've got is a bunch of license plates. Now surprisingly enough, these actually sell. People collect them. Um, there's all kinds of reasons why people would buy license plates on eBay. So. What you want to do, and typically, like unless it's like an antique license plate, if you sell them by a pair, you usually can get about 20 bucks for the pair. Uh, I've not sold like European ones yet, so I'm gonna have to research that and see how much those are worth. Uh, these are antique, but they're main, so you know, again, I'll, I'll research and find out how much they're worth. Uh, single plates, the rest of these are all singles. Uh, you can usually get about ten dollars per plate. Plus, you know, the buyer pays for shipping. So, you know, that's one, two, three, four, five, 60 bucks right here in the plates. So, let's go to the next step to go through. So the first thing that I did was I took, um, I typed in, you know, 1967 main plate. Um, and what I want to do is I want to go all the way down here to where it says sold items. All right, so I'm going to click on that. That's going to tell me what things are actually selling for. You know, not necessarily what people are um, asking for them. So I can see here that just the tags, there's these little metal tags, those are going for you know, 10 bucks each. Um, they got $10 for the pair there. And let's see. You know, 67 main pair of plates with tabs, white, black. See, they got $44.95. And over here, Undated plates, so that they got 50 bucks for those plates. So I think, I think with these, if I were to ask like 25, 30 bucks, I could probably get it. Here we go. Ah, it's getting closer. All right. So this is actually pretty close to, to what I have. This uh, even starts with the same number, BN, then two numbers dash two numbers, and that sold for 90 bucks. Um, and it didn't have the uh, the square one with it. So, what I'm gonna do, 
is I'm going to go back to this listing right here, and I'm going to click on it. Now right here, there's a small tab, I don't know if you can see that, but it says sell one like this. Uh, so what you can do is click on that, uh, or start from, um, start from something else. <clears throat> but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just remember the, the tagline, which is vintage 1972 import license plate, comma, Europe, question mark. Um, so when I go to sell it, I'm going to try and make it as similar as possible. All right. So now that I've got that, some basic information on the license plates and roughly what I can get for them, the rest are fairly new, so I'm, I'm only going to go like 10 bucks for the singles and um, you know, 20 bucks for a pair. Uh, next thing I'm going to look at is vintage doorknobs. Alright, and again we're going to go down here and check on sold items only. Because again, you want to see what things are selling for, not what people are asking for. Alright, so here's a lot of 14 brass doorknobs, old hardware lot. So this is just the knobs themselves. And it's, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, for 70 bucks. Which, I mean, <laughs> that's pretty good money. It's a lot more than what you're going to get for scrap. Alright, and here, look at this. The solid brass door hardware with that stuff, $250. Which is closer to what I have. So let's take a look at that listing. Um... So that one had, oh, stop sliding around. So I think my stuff is older because it actually has the skeleton key. No. I'm going to go back up and I'm going to add the word lot to the, uh, the search. Because that's essentially what I have is a lot. Alright, so just the face plates there. Uh, a lot of brass, metal plates, hardware, architectural stuff. 57 bucks just for the plates. Uh, $70 just for the doorknobs. So if you put those two together, you're looking at what, 130, 120 bucks, 130? Um, keep looking down. Another lot, 60 bucks. Again, but it's just the knobs, not uh, the rest of it. So as you can see, I mean, clearly, the, the, what I'm getting from this is that the, oh look at that, look at that right there. Vintage, so it's all just you know, knobs and just bits and pieces thrown together and they got 200 bucks for it. All right, so I, I think what I've gotten from this is you know, a rough idea of you know, how to post it, um, what it's worth. So I, I would feel comfortable taking my box and putting it up as a buy it now for $200. Um, now keep in mind that you can do whatever you want. You can do an auction style listing instead. Um, <clears throat> I prefer to do buy it nows. <clears throat> that way I don't um, worry about you know per a person taking forever to pay after the auction is done, uh, etc. So let's start selling. So the first thing that we're going to do, and the first thing that I like to do, is you go right to the top where it says sell. And we're going to create a listing, a single listing. Now this, this may look slightly different for different people. I, I don't know why, but like when I'm trying to help my brother sell stuff, his eBay looks a little bit different. I'm not sure if it's because it's Chrome versus Explorer or, or what have you, but um, this is, it, it's, it's all basically the same. All right, so first thing I want to sell is my vintage. 1967 main license plate with tags. All right, let me get started. And I couldn't find anything in the search, so uh, what it'll do is it'll try and find other listings that have similar names 
so I can like pre-populate information for you. In this case, it couldn't find anything, so we'll just continue without a selected product. All right. So now, anything with a little red star is stuff that's required to be filled in. So category, that's already selected. Conditions used. Photos, we'll take care of that in a minute. Uh, item specifics, I don't really need to put anything in there. So I like to keep my descriptions fairly simple and to the point because one of the things that can happen to you is if your item is not exactly as you describe it, the buyer can turn around and sell it, or not sell it, but return it, and you are out the shipping that you paid to send it to that person, and oftentimes the shipping to get it back. So I keep it simple. Uh, pair, uh, vintage, main, plates with 1967 tags. Plates are a little bent. All right. And I think that's it. That's all I'm gonna put on there. So what I also like to put on there is like any like conditions that I have, like for example, uh, I put ships Monday through Friday. Um, Pretty much it for this one. Uh, I like to stick with fixed price and good till cancelled. And I don't usually schedule my listings unless it's an auction. Uh, if it's an auction, I'll schedule to start on like a Sunday night. Uh, buy it now price. I'm gonna put $29.95. Only got one. Uh, PayPal payment options. I require immediate payment. And the next thing to worry about is shipping. So I go down to, now, one of the things that you want to do is weigh what you're selling. So I've got a little scale here that's off camera. I apologize for that. All right, so those plates weigh nine ounces. Uh, so I'm going to guess that um, with a box and, and packing material, we're looking, it's going to be about a pound, and once you hit a pound, you have to go USPS Priority Mail, um, and that's going to cost about six ninety five for me because of my discounts, but you can always go up here and click on Calculated, Cost Varies by Buyer Location, and if you do that, you just need to enter in the weight of your item and the dimensions of, of the box, and that way you'll never lose out on shipping fees um, and it'll always, it'll always work out. Alright, so I got that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it as a draft. So the next thing that I do, and this just works easier for me, is I'll pull up my phone. I have the eBay app on my phone. Um, and what I'll do is under, under the selling tab, you can go to drafts and click on the listing that you just had. That way I can enter the photos in directly. I don't have to download them to my computer first. So right on the top it says, you know, photos, click on that. Camera. All right. And now I'm going to take a picture showing that I have two license plates. And one showing that I have both of those black 67 tags that come off all right and then done all right done again and now all I have to do is go all the way down and list my item and that's it it's posted all right so I'm going to do that for all of these different things all right, and I'll come back and show you when I'm done. All right, so um, I started filming this video around 6.30. It's now 7.10. So it took me about 40 minutes, and I've got all of the listings up. Um, there's what, like 10 or 11 of them. 
uh, and it's about four hundred dollars worth of worth of stuff. So it's you know, kind of a, a no-brainer. But this is something that you know once you get used to doing it, um, it doesn't take that long to do. So we we'll look here. Like I've got you know the license uh, vintage 1967 plates for thirty dollars. Um, they're all buy it now. I've got all the light, the plates listed separately for the singles are ten dollars each. Um, the pair for twenty. The European plates. I, I'm asking ninety, just like the other one. Um, and the vintage doorknob set. Uh, asking two hundred, just like the other lot. And I mean, I've, I've already have I already have views on them. You know, they've already been viewed once at least. Um, and I haven't refreshed since I started recording, and they pretty much just finished posting these. So another thing that I want to mention is that it's very important that you take good pictures. Um, whenever I'm selling a lot of something, I want to get you know a, a good picture that covers everything that's in the lot, uh, and then I'll take you know other pictures that have the things individually. If there's anything you know like uh, the doorknobs on this one. Um, you know, I wanted to make sure that I took a picture of the end so that people can see the pattern. Because sometimes they have patterns, sometimes they don't. People might be looking for something in particular to match what they already have. Um, All right, so that's that. That's that's how I sell things on eBay. Um, I mean, I've been doing this for years, so I, I've gotten to be pretty quick at posting things. Um, so again, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten listings. In 40 minutes um, and that was you know part of that was explaining to you what I was going to do so probably yeah, probably take about a half an hour to do 10 listings um, and one of the things that a lot of people get hung up on is the shipping well if you ship USPS they have flat rate boxes which is um, especially when you're starting it's a godsend because you know, it, no matter how much it weighs, if it fits in that box, it's the same flat rate. So you may want to check into those if the stuff that you have, you know, is a little bit bigger um, or not. Uh, they have you know padded flat rate envelopes, um, so they have them for all sizes. And the nice thing about that stuff is that if you go to the USPS website, um, you can actually get those priority mail packages delivered to your door for free. So you just go in, you have to create an account with them, um, but they don't charge you anything. You can get all kinds of flat rate boxes, priority mailboxes, completely free delivered right to your door. Um, and it makes you know selling on eBay a lot easier. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, so the, you know the rest of the stuff in that scrap load that I picked up in October, there was a gas can I kept for myself. Um, there, there was a whole bunch of things there that I kept for myself. Uh, to use around the house, the watering can, I kept that. There was like a, an aluminum hose rack that I'm using that to hold my air hose for my air compressor. Um, so, you know, a lot of it's either got repurposed, recycled, or resold. There you go, so zero waste. So, I want to thank you guys for watching again. Um, I want to make sure that you guys check out, there's a link, there's going to be a whole bunch of links actually in the description section of my video. Uh, this is something I'm going to start doing here on out. Uh, so I've got, and I gotta stop saying, uh, and I'm really gonna stop that. So you're gonna see in the description of this video a link to the GoFundMe for uh, Gill Skills. Uh, we gotta, uh, it's hard. So we gotta make sure that uh, we help him stay on the air. Let's make sure you please check that out. There's gonna be a link to my Amazon influencer page, which is basically a link to Amazon that has like a specific kind of storefront. It's not stuff that I'm selling, it's stuff that Amazon is selling, but it's everything that's kind of tied into my videos. Like if you're watching a video on gold recovery and I'm using a beaker, that beaker is for sale there. I kind of link things up to help you access this stuff easier. Uh, I, I do benefit from it if you do buy from it, but I'm not saying you have to, I'm just putting that there for convenience. And um, there's more stuff that I want to say, but I keep forgetting because it's yeah all right so make sure you check out my live stream that's coming up uh, right after thanksgiving and i've got a few more videos coming out there's gonna be another poll coming up i want to make sure that you guys check out recycle dude check out folks like big keg 
Um, they put out some great material out there. E-waste Ben, of course, as well. Um, and a special thanks out to uh, Mr. Parson. You know who you are. Thank you for helping Gil. And I want to thank you all for watching. Hope to see you on the next one. See you later.